Hello everyone, you're welcome once again to another wonderful class in this our remote learning platform. It's so exciting to have you again. I'm sure you've been learning a lot for the past few days and weeks. I want to believe that you are also keeping safe. I am Mrs. Ola Inka, and today in Religious and National Values class, we're talking about our duties and obligation to the government. Our duties and obligations to the government. I'll be defining duties and obligations to you and I'll be telling you some things you need to know in this class. So I want you to pay close attention. I don't want you to be distracted. I want you to get yourself settled somewhere very calm so you can pay attention and listen to all what I'll be saying. And I am Mrs. Olainka. I'm so excited to have you on this wonderful learning platform. Today, like I said, we're talking about the duties and obligation of to the government. Now, at the end of this class, I will expect you to be able to tell me what duty means and you should be able to tell me the meaning of obligation and then you should be able to mention some duties both to the government and to the family as well. You should be able to tell me some duties even in the school and then you should be able to differentiate between obligation and duty. So I want you to follow me closely as I explain this things. What is duty? Every citizen is expected to perform some duties for the rights he or she enjoys in the state. You know, we are all enjoying some rights in any state we find ourselves. We are enjoying some rights, but there are some duties we need to perform for us to continue to enjoy these rights. Because if we don't perform some of this, these duties, we may not be able to enjoy most of these rights that we are enjoying. So what are the things that you are supposed to be doing and then so that you can continue to enjoy all the things you enjoy in the state. Therefore, duty is the expected obligation, task or activity a citizen is required to perform, either morally or legally. I will say it again. I said duty is the is expected obligation, task or activity. A citizen is required to perform either morally or legally. You are supposed to perform some task or some obligation, either morally or legally. That's your duty. So everyone being a citizen of a country must perform a particular duty in that country where he or she finds it himself. Now what is obligation? Obligation is a compulsory service or sacrifice which a citizen must perform for the survival of the society. It is also known as responsibility. I hope you have noted those things I underlined there. Obligation is a compulsory service or sacrifice which a citizen must perform. A citizen must perform these services it is also known as responsibility. So another word for obligation is responsibility in this context of this topic we are talking about. So note that when, while duty is what you ask, you have to do, obligation is compulsory. You must do it. Because if you don't do it, the survival of the nation, of the society, lies on it. And like I said, it's known as responsibility. Look at this picture here. They all have obligation. Every one of them, they are taking responsibility. They are doing what they need to do in order for the task to be performed. If one of them lacks in his or her responsibility, then they won't be able to achieve the desired results they want to achieve and the society will not move very well. So you can see every one of them concentrating to ensure that they perform their obligation. So don't forget, obligation is a compulsory service which a citizen must perform for the survival of the society. Now, we're going to be starting with duties of puppies at home because I know I'm dealing with children and we have to start from young. We have to start from you. Once we begin to groom you up, when you grow up, you know your obligation. Then you, you what you're supposed to do now is duty. When you grow up, your duty becomes an obligation. 
your duty becomes what? An obligation. And you have to do it for the survivor of the society. So at this stage of your life, you don't have much obligation. What you have is duty. What you have to do is your duty. So what are the duties at home and in the school? What are your duty? Every child is expected to, one, respect elders. That is one of the duty of every child. You are to respect elders. Every child ought to respect people around. Your parents, your neighbors, prefects, teachers, everyone that is older than you, every adult around. You have the responsibility and the duty to respect them as a citizen of this country. So what is one of the duty is to respect others. You, should, you have to pay close attention to them when they're talking and be as respectful as possible. You are not supposed to look at them directly in the eyes. That is a sign of disrespect. You are not expected to speak out or to say something when others are still speaking. You have to calm down, be quiet, and when they are done, you can politely say whatever you want to say. And when you see an adult or an elderly person coming around, it's your duty and your responsibility as a well-trained child to see how you can assist that adult. Or maybe you're in a bus or in a train and you find out that there's an elderly person, aged, that couldn't get a seat to sit. You are, as a child, or you, as a young, young boy or young girl, should be able to say, Ma, sir, come and sit down on my seat. It shows that you have respect for elders. So one of the responsibilities of a growing child in the society is to respect the parents, respect neighbors, respect elders, respect prefect teachers, and everyone around. You know, a lot of children, that the only people they respect is their parents. Aside from their parents, they don't have regard or respect for any other person. Even their pastors or their imams. They don't have regard for them. That is very wrong. As a good child, you must respect elders. Then number two, you must be obedient to elders. Children must be obedient to elders. That's another very good duty of every child. You must be obedient. Politely, do whatever you'll be told to do. Politely. And if you feel the responsibility or the duty assigned to you by that elder isn't good enough, you politely report to your parents, not in an, in an impolite manner. Then, you will be your obedience to rules and regulations, both at home and in the school. I want to believe that even now that you are at home, there are some rules and regulations mommy and daddy has put up in the house. Can anybody tell me any of those rules that mommy and daddy has put up in the house? Any rule or regulation? During this period of lockdown, is there any rule in the house? I can I can clearly state one now. And we can you can tell me that that one is in every home. I'm sure that every mother, every father would have told their children this particular one. Who knows it? Good. Wash your hands regularly with alcohol-based sanitizer or use soap and water. So that's one of the rules in the house now for every home. I'm sure. Yes, and there are some other rules as well. Do not talk while eating. Yes, that's another rule in the house. Then, there's a time to watch the television and there's a time to study. Am I sure that's another rule in the house? Yes, I'm sure there's another rule of do not use foul language in the house. Yes, that's another rule in the house. You're not permitted to use any, any negative or abusive words among yourselves, among siblings. That's another rule. Then, not running elter scatter in the house is another rule. Ensure that the house is kept neat and clean and well arranged all the time. It's another rule. There are a lot of rules in the house. Let me hear you say me one, one more rule in your house. Okay, I'm listening. What's that rule in your house? That's very good. So, you are supposed to obey the rules in the house and in the school. In the school as well, there are a lot of rules. A lot of them. Can anybody tell me one of the rules we have in Greenland Hall before the lockdown came up and we had to stay at home? Can anybody tell me one of the rules? Very good. Very good. One of the rules that you must not come late to school. 
you must not come late to school. Yes. And one of the rules, another rule is that you must dress completely and neatly. Your socks, your uniform must be neat, well tucked in, your hair must be well cut, your fingernails neat. Yes, that's another rule while we're in school. And then another rule again I can remember is that you don't make noise in the class. While you are in the class and the teacher is teaching, you be calm. Pay attention and listen attentively. Even when the child is not teaching and there's another activity going on in the class, maybe a, a classwork or something, you still pay attention and be quiet. Yes, a lot of rules in the school. Do not run around on the, on the walkway. Anywhere you're going, you take your turns. Take turns. Yes, another good rule in the school is taking turns. We have told you several times that you take your turns. Take turns while going to the dining. Anywhere you're going, take turns. Do not run. Walk to wherever you're going. And another one I can quickly remember is do not bully. Yes, another rule in the school is that we don't permit bully. Yes, so those are a lot of rules in the school. Let me go to the next slide. Now, what are the duties? More duties I want to talk about. It's a key for public properties. Yes, we have a lot of public properties around baby school facilities. In the school, we have the swing, we have the school bus. A lot of you go with the school bus. And then in the school bus, you're not supposed to use scissors or blade or anything. You're not supposed to push the, the chairs. You're not supposed to remove the louvers, the windows, anything. You're not supposed to do anything that will spoil the school bus. Even in the class, the windows, everything, the, the, the dining, the all, every facility of the school must be kept safe. And then public facilities as well. Maybe public toilets, whatever. You keep them keep them safe safe then represent the name of the family and the school positively yes you must be able to represent as a child the school you go to and your home they should be able to see you and say wow i love the the, the house or the home this child came out from or i love the school this child is attending they must be able to see you after closing are uh, well dressed neat and tuck in yes then you must be able to represent your family as well they must be able to say wow this boy is, is respectful. This boy is obedient. This boy is well cultured. He's well mannered. Then work hard both at home and in the school to, for, for instance, completing chores, school notes, assignments, and projects at the right time. You know, there are some, some other children that do not want to do their assignments when they get home. They want to go and watch the cartoon. They want to go and play one music or the other, they want to go and play football, they want to go and play with their time, they want to go and ride a bicycle, they want to go and visit their friends, they want to watch a movie, they don't want to do their assignment. That is not a good a good child. Every good child must perform the duty of completing chores in the house. When you come back from school, there must be something you want to do in the house. There's a particular chores. After eating, don't just neglect the plates on the table and just walk away because you have a maid. No! Get the plates. Go to the kitchen, wash the dishes, and ensure that everywhere is neat. When you wake up in the morning, lay your bed, sweep your room, make sure that everywhere in your room is well laid and in, in good order. Ensure you take care of your house, take care of the environment. Don't say, I'm, I'm just going to have someone that will help me to do it. No, you learn. Then you, even in school, you complete your notes. You know, there are so many of us that do not like completing, completing our notes while we're in school. You'll be looking for a way to, to hide the notes under the table. Good child, the duty of a good child is to complete the notes in school, complete assignment as well. When you get back from school, remove your uniform, shower, rest a bit, pick up your assignment and do it. Then project if there's any. Now, what are the obligations of citizens? Now, I told you before that duties and obligations are a bit similar, but obligation is a must, it's compulsory and it's meant for adults. Now, payment of taxes. While you start working, you must begin to pay your tax. Because this money we are paying to the government, that is what the government is using to do a lot of things for us. Social infrastructures, social amenities, that is what the government is using to do those things for us. Good road, electricity, pipe bone water, and so on and so forth. It's coming from the payment of tax. So every citizen has the obligation to pay the tax to the government. That's the one. Then we have another one. You say obedient to the law of the land. In a local government, state, or the country as a whole. So... Every citizen has the obligation to obey the rule of the land. Anyone that will go against the rule of the land will be punished. 
he will look upon like as an offender. And that's what a person will be taking to the to the to the police station and then to the courts and he will be punished. Then he has to respect the national symbols. Can somebody mention some of the national symbols we have in Nigeria? I've given you one here. Okay, two. We have our leaders, they have national symbols. We have the national flag, national symbol. What's again? What are the national symbols we have in this country? Okay. National anthem. Nigerian currency. Okay. ID card, national ID card. Yes, they are national symbols. A lot of them are there. We are supposed to respect our national symbol. When you hear the, when you hear the national anthem going on, you're supposed to stand still and ensure that the national anthem is well sung before you leave. Then the national flag and every other national symbols we have to respect them. Then we should defend our country in times of war. That's what those in the armed forces, policemen, navy, and so on and so forth. You have to do your obligation. Then still on obligation, you have to be loyal and patriotic to the nation. Don't speak evil of your leaders. Don't speak evil of your nation. Don't begin to cast your nation. Don't begin to say negative things about your nation. You have to be loyal to your nation. You have to be patriotic. You have to speak well of your nation. Whether you are in the nation or you are outside the nation. Anywhere you are, you are supposed to speak well and be loyal to your country. Yes, because Nigeria is our country. We must be loyal to our country. We must speak well of our leaders. We must speak well of the country. And then the next one says, orderliness in exercising our rights. We must not because we want to exercise our rights, violate the rights of others. Yes, we have to be very careful. Anyway, we get to, we must be able to take turns. Don't push your way out because we feel, oh, my daddy has some money. My mommy is okay. So how should I go there and queue? I think I, I should be served first. No, you don't follow the rights of others because you want to exercise your own right. So as an obligation of a citizen, you have to calm. Calm down and exercise your own rights. Suppose you want to, you're in the traffic. And you feel people, the, 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 the traffic is still, it's just too long. And you feel you just want to maneuver your way out and leave the, leave the queue and then start going. No mind that there's supposed to be a traffic light you need to obey. Yes, there's a traffic light that says either wait, either go, or you, you pass. So you are, you have to obey all those rights so that you know violate the rights of others. Then they have another one which says voting during election. When you have gotten to the age of voting in Nigeria, the age of voting is what? What is the age of voting in Nigeria? Do you know it? It's not 13, it's not 14. Okay, good. It's 18. When you get to the age of 18, you can vote and you can you can exercise your voting right. So during election, every citizen of Nigeria have the obligation to exercise their voting right. So they must vote during election. And still talking about obligation, we must be able to use proper we must properly be able to use the Use the public facilities like pipe and water, public buses, public uh, toilets, bus stops, everything that belongs to the government or public facilities. We must be able to use it well. You know, there are some people that will go to the bus stop and they will defecate there. Do you know what is meaning of defecate? They will excrete, they will put there. It's very wrong. As a good citizen, your obligation is to ensure that you don't do that. Even if you are pressed and you are at the bus stop, you don't poo or we there. It's very wrong. So when you get to public facilities, you are you are to ensure that you take care of it. Is it pipe and water? Is it public transport? Don't say it's not good. It's not my daddy's car. I can do whatever I like it, it, it like there. No. Yes, even public toilets, you must be able to keep it safe. Then supporting government programs and activities, that's another obligation. We find that the government is, is doing a program. Is the obligation of every citizen to support the the government in the program. Then you must be able to maintain law and order. How? You assist in arresting or revealing where a criminal or an offender is. If you are discovered that there's an ambush or a place where people keep, maybe secret, they secretly keep a, a, a room or a, 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 a strong house from somewhere, and you have discovered it. Or there's, there are some people that used to gather somewhere to smoke or to do a lot of negative things and so negative uh, vices around around you can report you can quickly go to the nearest precision to report the case so you are in by doing so you are maintaining law and order you are assisting to maintain law and order and that means you are carrying out your obligation then you as participate in the national service so uh, example is 
NYSC. Can anybody tell me the full meaning of NYSC? What does NYSC stand for? Okay, that's National Youth Service Corps. National Youth Service Corps. So, after serving, after your university or your polytechnic, you are to serve your nation. You are to be posted anywhere in the country. Don't say, oh, I'm from Ogo State. I can't go to Nasarawa. I can't go to Damawa. Why would I go there? What am I going to do there? No. We have, we have to go to other states and to ensure that we serve our nation. Now, in conclusion, duties and obligations are very necessary for the smooth running of the family, organization, state, and country. It is very essential. If there's no duty and obligation, then the country, the family, the organization, even the, the nation as a whole, the state, will not run smoothly. Now, we want to check what we have learned. You want to tell me what is duty? What is duty? Okay, I'm waiting for you to answer the question. Anybody giving me the answer to duty? Good. That's a good one. Let's not go to obligation. What is obligation? Define obligation. Mm. Okay, that's the most one. The one that you must do. It's a compulsory service that every citizen must perform, carry out for the smooth running of the country. Then, what are some duties at home? What are some duties in the school? Let me hear them. Okay, at home. Let's start with at home. Give me some duties you have to do in the house. Okay, respect, obedience, run errands. Okay, now let's go to obligations of a citizen. Now, pay tabs. Okay, maintain law and order by reporting offenders. Mm -hmm. And again, serve your nation, NYC. Mm -hmm. Exercise your voting rights. Okay, that's very good. I want to say very thank you to you for listening to this class i'm very sure you have learned a lot today and don't forget there will be question time in the next class so i want you to do it very well because it's from what you do there that will make me know if you have actually learned so much or not so thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the day Bye bye